What's going on guys? So today is actually Monday. I was up in San Antonio last week because I had, you know, some work to do up there and my girlfriend has been working in Midland recently. So I actually drove up after work and surprised her and I spent the weekend there and today's actually Monday. Um, I took off this morning back home. Uh, I took off like about six but I had to stop in San Antonio or well, Big Springs so that way I can do an inspection and then uh, head home and work a little bit more there. But uh, I found this cool place uh, a few years back when I came up with my, my family. I just kind of stumbled upon it. And ever since then, I wanted to come back and visit it again. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna show you what it is. So this is actually a early Bronco graveyard. It's called BC Broncos. Um, I found it a few years back. And if anybody knows me, they know that I'm a huge, huge early Bronco fan. Like this is goals right here. I really, really want one of these. You know what? I'm just gonna cut some B-roll. So yeah, you can see right there, BC Broncos, and it has the number right there. You want to screenshot it, or I'll put it in the description. So yeah, guys, if you are interested in uh, actually coming by, it's in Kerrville, Texas, right off of I-27, I believe, and Goat Creek Road. Um, it's called BC Broncos. I'll put a I'll put a picture right here, and uh, they actually do pretty good work. They uh, they do frame off restorations. They uh, switch out crate engines they usually use the the coyote v8s which is my personal favorite if i ever build a bronco that's what i want to put in it um it's basically a crate engine that comes out of the the 5.0 uh, mustangs and it's got a lot of power a lot of torque and it fits perfect in the little tiny broncos so that's what i would do and that's what they do a lot if not i think they just rebuild um original motors or you know they have different options like that but yeah i'm gonna leave their contact info in the information below um if you want to contact them just ask for the uh let's see just ask for the tech at bc broncos they will get you set it up so yeah, that was a cool little place that i just wanted to share with y'all um i found it a couple years back i came up here with my family uh we actually stayed in ingram texas which is like down the street from kerrville beautiful beautiful place it's got a lot of rivers they got some lakes they got beautiful cabins like in the hills and it's a really good place to go camping and go tubing and all that stuff and whatnot for the summer really really nice place um it's mm, probably like in central texas i would say uh, some people say it's considered south, but I don't consider it south because I'm actually from the south. But beautiful place. Uh, if you ever want to stop by, I would highly recommend it. And this is a great place to stop by too. Go and talk to the guys. Uh, they'll maybe give you a tour or maybe you can check out some of the Broncos that they have. But uh, yeah, I love Broncos. I've always loved them. And hopefully that is what the new one will look like because I'm actually, I'm actually waiting to see what it looks like. I'm very interested um depending on how square or you know big it is i might get that next instead of uh, the dually that i originally wanted i'm not sure maybe i'll get both just one one year and then one another i really don't know but that's um that's something i'm waiting for and that's really what they should look like i really hope that that's what they look like uh because i mean that would be perfect it was real nice and square uh like very retrofit kind of like i really like how the challengers 
how they look a lot like the original from the 1970s. Um, that's one thing I really like. I hope they go that same route with the Ford Broncos. I hope they don't do like what they do with the Blazer where it's completely different. I really hope and I'm pretty sure they will, you know, make it relatively nice and, you know, similar to what the original looks like. Uh, just obviously newer with better, um, you know, uh, creature comforts and whatnot. But uh, I'm getting back on the road. I'm about to hit the highway and head to Big Springs so that way I can finish my inspection and head home because Ooh, your boy has been in the road for days and it's time to start going home. So stay tuned. I'll show you a little bit of uh, the road while we uh, head that way and I'll uh, see you again soon. All right. Thanks, guys.